Hot mic. I need some music. Da -da 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 I'm just waiting for Karen to tell us we're live everywhere. You are live everywhere. So we're getting some shouting up the stairs. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday Live, or I should say, welcome back to Tuesday Live because we've missed the last couple of Tuesdays because we were doing some exciting things. One exciting thing was Home Shopping Network. And for those of you who were not able to purchase the Dice Stamp and Supply organizer that we sold on HSN because they sold out in four minutes and they kicked me out of there, um, we will have something very, very similar available on our website um, in about 10 days. Um, it's a single box with 15 pockets and 15 magnetic sheets. So watch for that. You'll see it in your email. Uh, oh, so I'm doing announcements first. I'm trying to cover my uh, business bases first. So uh, first thing is that new product. Second thing is the Crop House update. Woo! So for those of you who watched us live during the Crop House makeover, the Craft Room Cleanup winner uh, of the Craft Room Cleanup sweep, Sweepstakes, Kate Rothecker at the Crazy Crop, no, the Cozy Crop House in Lidditz, PA. We just had a great time. My husband did do a time-lapse video of it. We took a bunch of before and after pictures. I'm questioning my after. Did I take after pictures? Yes, I did. And I'm working on putting all of that together. So watch the blog, watch Facebook uh, for posts, and we'll probably send out an email too when that blog post is up. And you can watch the video and you can see kind of the final of it. So thank you so much for those of you who physically joined us there. And for those of you who joined us via the internet, it was just really, really a fun event. It was awesome to work with Kate. She was just such a trooper. Um, it was it was amazing. It was a long, busy week, and but it was just so much fun. Um, and then we went, of course, from there to the show in uh, Lancaster, which was also is always a blast. If you have not attended a scrapbook show, either a Creating Keepsakes event or a scrapbook Expo event, Scrap and Stamp and Scrap Expo event. They're really fun. You should look for one in your area. If you're in the Washington area, if you're near me, there is one right here in Tacoma at the Tacoma Convention Center in November. It's the last show of the year. So check the website for creating keepsakes events as well as Stamp and Scrap Expo and um, find an event near you. We, we don't go to that many events, but there's a lot of great people there and they're really fun, great classes, all that good stuff. Um, that brings us to our next show. The next show is in Schaumburg, Illinois, and that will be the 16th and 17th of um, August. And the 18th is Wandering Planners. If you are a planner junkie like I am, the 18th is, the Sunday the 18th is a day dedicated to planner stuff, classes, um, make and takes, how to's, all of that kind of stuff. So if you love planning and you are in the Schaumburg, Illinois, Chicago area. Uh, that's a great day. And that is through Scrap and Stamp Expo. And I will be teaching a class at that event on, on the 18th. I'm the first class, 10 o'clock in the morning on the 18th. So if you're planning on attending that, um, I hope you'll sign up to come and take the class. Oh, it's going to be fun. Top 10 tips. Tiffany's top 10 tips for maximizing your, um, using your planner to, ma to maintain your focus and efficiency. Okay, uh, next up, Home Shopping Network will be on the 13th, second Tuesday in August. What are we selling the second Tuesday in August? We are selling the paper storage cart. So if you are still in need of one of those or you need another one of those, uh, the paper storage cart will be available on that day as well as... I think we're also doing the embossing station. So if you've waited to purchase your embossing station, it'll be available on HSN on that day as well. Okay, I think that takes care of all my business. So let's get started with the business of today's Tuesday Live, which is introducing some new products. Woo! So the first product that I want to introduce to you is the new Totally Tiffany apron. So lots and lots of you have asked about getting an apron. Here is our new apron design. And the reason I switched to this nice pleated skirt from the skirt with the ruffle and the flat pocket on the front is because the flat pocket on the front was really hard to use. And doing the pleated skirt, I was able to put in some nice slash pockets on the side. So you really can put your phone 
or your pen or your whatever you're carrying around into that slash pocket on the side. It's really much more useful than the front pockets. And then you've got just the bright pink bib and the turquoise waistband with the Tolly Tiffany logo down here. And if you want to get your name embroidered on the front of it, like I have my Merle France, who is Merle of Shabby Chic Designs, um, is an embroidery master and she embroidered my aprons. She has some of ours in stock on her Facebook page and there's a link on our on the apron page, which I believe Karen is posting up. Um, so if you want to go directly to Merle and order an apron, um, I'm not sure what her fee is for embroidery. It's, it was very reasonable, like $10 including shipping it back to you or something. I don't know, but it's all on the page, on our page, and you can click on her page and ask her about that. So those of you, Merle tr used to travel with me. For years, she did all the shows for me, Merle the Pearl, and uh, she lives in Texas. And so the other thing that I wanted to introduce today, and I don't know if Merle's on the line with us or not. Has anybody seen Merle's name pop up, Merle France, on there? My son is shaking his head no as he's reading, scrolling through the Facebook comments. Well, I'm sorry that she's not here. I did send her a text message and said, Merle, try and get on the live with us today because I'm going to talk about your embroidery business. But what Merle doesn't know is that we're also introducing today... The new Merle buddy bag. Woo! So Merle, I'm sorry that you're not here for this great launch, but Merle, I have her right here. I just knocked something on the floor. Merle looks a lot like the very famous and excessively popular Edna bag. Very much like Edna. As a matter of fact, here is an Edna bag. And to the untrained buddy bag eye, they look exactly the same. The big difference between Merle and Edna is that Merle has side flaps. Why did we do that? Why did we add side flaps to Merle? Because Merle is designed to carry small things that might slide out the end of Edna. Merle at the request of Home Shopping Network and all of you who are, I'm just gonna put that on the floor for now, and all of you who sew and take sewing classes and are in need of some way to carry your small tools around, that is why Merle was born. Because when I tried to put things into Edna that were small, things like this, things like these, right? Even something like this and the bag got tipped in your tote. These kind of things would slide out the end of Edna. And that is what gave birth to Merle and Merle, because she actually sews, it was a perfect match for the Merle bag. So the Merle bag is ideal for sewing supplies, not only tools. So you can see, I've just got all kinds of sewing tools and supplies in there. And, um, but other things that you might sew with are going to be perfect in the Merle bag as well. So ribbon, bias, uh, ribbon, bias tape, and I know it's hard to see in the camera, but things like zippers, bias tape, that type of thing, anything that you want to contain and control is gonna fit in Merle. And if you love Edna, um, Merle does the same jobs as Edna as well. So let me, I have some edge things here just kind of to show you how they both work. Now, why would you choose Merle over Edna or vice versa? I would use Edna for all the things that we always use Edna for. Ribbon, Tim Holtz Distress Inks, ribbon, embe uh, embellishment paste, anything like that that's not going to slide out the ends when you tip it over, right? And the reason is, I'm just going to show you how all these things still fit in here, even though it's a different name, right? So you can still get 30 tiny bottles in there. You can still get 30 spools of Baker's twine, ribbon, 18 Tim Holtz Distress or Oxide inks. Uh, I think you could do 10 embellishment paste. They all fit in Merle, but you're dealing with extra Velcro that you don't need. I shouldn't say Velcro, hook and loop fabric. 
you're dealing with extra hook and loop fabric, which makes it a little bit more difficult to open. So if you have big things, stick with Edna. If you have little things that might slip out through the end, little small tools or that type of thing, then you want to go with Merle. So Merle is better for small little things and Edna is better for big things. It's a little bit less Velcro to work with. So both of them are great. So as far as buddy bags go, you know, there are, I believe there are 16 of them now. Karen's putting up a link to our catalog. And if you go to page seven in the catalog, all of the buddy bags, except Merle, cause she's new, are right there in the catalog. So you can take a look at them there. Katie is working on a list of which buddy bags work great with which products. But if you click on each individual buddy bag, there's tons of pictures on the more photos tab. And if you have questions, which bag is best for this or which bag is best for that, try doing a simple search in the search box on our website for that product. Maybe Stampin' Up Inks or Tim Holtz Inks or Baker's Twine or whatever, and it'll bring you to a page that kind of lists a variety of products that work for that. But it'll answer some of those buddy bag questions, but you can always email customer service and we're happy to answer questions for you. One of the things about buddy bags though is you can really think outside of the box with them, right? So this is my emergency dog kit. It just goes under the seat in my car. Some of you have seen it before, but it has a Tupperware food or water dish, poop bags, flashlight, food, and a leash. Now we have a small dog, so I realize if you have a giant dog, this is not gonna be the solution for you. But if you do have a small dog, sometimes you're out late or maybe you're on a road trip, or maybe sometimes you just forget to put the leash in the car, having just a little, you know, kind of emergency kit for your pet is, is a great solution for that. They can be used for so many different things. So think outside of the box when you're looking at buddy bags, what do you need to control? My mother um, has a really active book club. And whenever they come to her house for their book club meetings, one of the things that she collects is coasters, just like cardboard fancy cardboard coasters and she likes to buy all these funky coasters so whatever the theme of the book or the theme of the discussion is she's got some sort of coaster that match so it might be you know they might be talking about um i don't know 1920s book and they so they have these beautiful coasters that are reminiscent of the 20s or whatever it is but she has all these coasters and she's got them all stored in different buddy bags actually i think she moved them all over to the Leanne now because the Leanne can, can hold a bunch of them. But just, there's all kinds of things and places that a buddy bag is gonna work really well for you. So if there are things rolling around your house, your office, your bathroom that need to be controlled, a buddy bag might be the best solution. This is um, everything for all the basic tools for um, Chalk Couture, which is so much fun all in one place, right? So keep things together, you use together. If you're working on a specific kind of craft project that requires a bunch of different tools, you might be, might be perfect to have those all in one place. One of my favorite, favorite uses for the Terry bag, this is my little picnic pack. It goes right in the motorhome. It has knives, forks, straws, napkins, kind of all the basic stuff that you need at a, at a picnic. And so when you're gonna sit down at the picnic table, you can just roll the top back, nothing blows away, nothing gets dirty, things aren't spread around. You can just grab out the silverware, whatever that you wanna work with, and then you just close the top back up. Boom, put it back in the cabinet and you're all good to go. So there's just a huge variety of uses. One regular question we get, especially when it comes to inks and markers is, I so this is the Sue bag. Someone will say, I looked at the Sue bag, but I wanna make sure and store my Stampin' Up inks flat. Do you have a bag that I can store my Stampin' Up inks flat in? And here's the answer. This is how you're gonna use the Sue bag. When you're working with your inks, you can pull them in and out easily, but when you're storing your inks, you're just gonna turn it on its end and now your inks are flat, right? So same thing with our marker bags. If you're using Terry for markers and you have double tip markers, stand it up to use it, lay it flat to store it. So a lot of the buddy bags, the way they're presented, you may think, oh, that's not gonna work because I want my product stored a certain way. Just think about turning that bag over or turning it on its side and um, you're gonna be able to store those products exactly how the manufacturer recommends and how you want to as well. Okay, so I talked about our new apron. I talked about our new Merle Buddy Bag. I wanna talk a few minutes about 
some new adaptations for products. And um, those are the Dawn bag. I think I have that backwards. And the Katya bag. And a couple of new accessories. So for those of you who sew, these were designed um, for HSN. They will be the whole set of them, which will be the Merle, the Katya, and the Dawn bag, and these handy dandy little pockets will all be part of the September show at HSN. So let me show you. Now, you can use the handy dandy little pockets for other things as well. Um, they're on the new products page. I'm sure Karen's gonna be putting up a link as I'm talking. But, so within the Katya bag, you can see that I have all these different, like a rainbow of bias tape and rickrack. And if you sew, you know that once you open a package of bias tape or rickrack, it gets all unwound and it's just kind of a mess, right? So, but the packaging is not very sturdy and it's hard to put it back in the packaging. So along with the Katcha bag on the, in the HSN product, or you can buy them separately, you are gonna get a package of trims, tapes, and tools pockets. And these are just a simple open top pocket that's designed to fit your trims and tapes. So reusable, you can use them over and over and over again, but it, do, it just helps you wrap up those trims and tapes and pop them right back into the Katcha bag and everything stays neat and tidy and organized and you can still see what you've got. There's no zipper, there's no zip top, there's nothing sticky, it's just a simple pocket and then you've got this little library of supplies. But the pockets also work great for things like Taylor's chalk, um, what is this, elastic, if you've got small tools that are constantly getting lost, elastic threaders, right? Just I just use my label tape, my label gun, put a label on the top, and they'll work for anything. You could use them for any kind of paper crafting supply as well. And I'm sure now that I've shown them to you, we're gonna get tons of emails and Facebook posts about the different uses for them. So they fit perfectly in the Katcha bag, and then you can close everything up, again, nice and neat and tidy with Katcha. And then the second collection are our, 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 our buddy bag, our button bags. Buttons are kind of a challenge. I have to see which way I have my library going. Max, can you get a kind of a zoom in on that? So with the button, so this is the Dawn buddy bag. And you're going to get with her when you buy the kit from HSN or you can buy individually. You're going to get this button bat, button organizer set. And so the goal here is to organize your buttons, got my extra bags there, in the rainbow, right? Just like we organize other things. And some of the buttons, or a lot of the buttons fit right, those little cards that they come on are gonna fit right in there. So you can see I labeled, I created the dividers, which you get the divider cards. I just added the color to the top. And then buttons that the cards just fit right in or that weren't loose in a package, are just in there and then you're going to get 40 of these little button bags and the button bags have an insert card that goes inside them as well the insert card is in there to keep the bags straight up and down right if you just put a bunch of buttons in a plastic bag they're just going to fall into a heap at the bottom of your buddy bag but this little button bag because the because you have the card insert to put in there is going to stay straight up and down and they have a little flap I don't have my glasses on, which makes it harder to see the flap, but I know it's there. So they have a little rounded flap at the top. So put your, your card in, put your buttons on the front, or if you're using it for other scrapbooking embellishments, put those on the front, and then you want to tuck the flap in behind the card. And that's going to keep anything from sliding out of the pocket um, that's tiny, right? Or if for some reason your buddy bag goes upside down, your, your buttons or whatever aren't gonna slide out because you've got that flap tucked in the back of the card. So not only will it make it easy for you to file through and find the perfect button or whatever you're using it for, embellishment, um, it'll also keep everything nice and neat and straight. And if things do go upside down, you don't have to worry about things falling out of the pocket. So that is the Dawn Buddy Bag. And the button set, and this is gonna come with 40 button bags and 40 um, 
button insert cards and 12 divider cards. So those are the taller, just plain white cards in the front. And then the trims, tapes, and tools bag fit the Katcha buddy bag. And you're going to get 40 of those with that as well. So it is sewing month on HSN in September. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek at one other thing. Woo! -hoo! All you people who sew out there, all of you who were kind enough to share your ideas with me when I was searching around for sewing things. So this is going to be one set on HSN, Katja, Dawn, Merle, trims and tapes bag, button bag. That is going to be one of the sets. The other thing, and you're probably going to have to zoom in on this a little bit, Max. The other thing that's new or will be new in September on HSN and will be arriving at our warehouse um, next week are the fabric files. So when you store your fabric, it is always difficult to pull it out of that drawer from between other fabrics or off of that shelf, right? You're always holding back other fabrics to pull it out. This is a method that you can use to get your fabric going vertically, right? It is a, a plastic reusable, super durable file folder and what we're calling a fabric wrap card. So you can see I've just got the fabric wrapped around and then locked it down with the tab here. When I put the fabric in the fabric file, now I can put that fabric off and on the shelf really easily because I'm not fighting with other fabrics to kind of stuff it in. You'll also notice this is an Ikea cube. So we have cubed out the files and the wraparound fabric storage cards to fit right in to the Ikea cube. Now in this file, right, the first file, I just had one fabric, but in this file, I've got four. So you can notice these are our logo colors. We use these for different promotions in the, when we're doing different videos, but I was able to wrap them all and put them all into one file. So if I want to work with these fabrics, your file may be all the fabric that you're using for a quilt, all the fabric that you're using for some other sewing project that you're making. So it's all in one file, especially if you're going to a class or something, you can take that whole file off your shelf, drop it into your tote and then go to your class or go to your, your sewing room, wherever, however you're moving around with your supplies. But you can literally load up your cube by project, by color, by style, by design, and then pull those fabrics in and out quickly and easily. Um, it's just so simple. So the wraparound cards, the fabric wrap cards, they just look like this. You begin the wrap by using the two inside the big um, cuts. Let me show you. Oh, which one in here is short? Oh, you know what I did on this one? One of these, I wrapped two pieces of fabric together. Okay, so you can see these are my outside wraps. I'm going to unwrap. Oh, this is a little piece of fabric. I just tucked in there because it matched. And then you just unwrap. I'll do it quickly here, right? So I put the first fabric under the big loops. And then I'm just going to roll it up. And now you see there's only a little bit left. Turn it this way. There's only a little bit left, right? That is not going to tuck under anything. So when that happens, you just fold that piece down and then flip out the small pieces, tuck it under, and now you've got your fabric all wrapped around that card. So they're lightweight and they're thin, but they're very durable, which, and you can use them over and over and over again. And I so, no, sometimes we get the cardboard from the fabric store, but that's almost an inch thick. So this is the same idea uh, la will last longer and it's so much thinner that you're not taking up all that space on your shelf with that thick cardboard, right? So I've wrapped as much as three yards of fabric, that's the biggest piece of fabric I have, around um, these fabric storage cards. And they do work much better for thinner fabrics. Obviously, if you're talking about something like fleece, you can definitely wrap it around this, but fleece is so thick and heavy that you're probably not gonna put it into your cube system and either. Right, I mean, it's just gonna it would take up a whole cube. Um, so great for quilting fabrics and lighter weight, like cotton fabrics, perfect for that. And then you can use them either with or without 
the actual file. So the beauty of the file is it makes things easier to slide things in and out, and you can put whole collections or projects of fabric together inside of one file, but you don't actually have to use all the files either. So we have fabric wrap cards, fabric files, and HSN is gonna have a collection that has files, wrap cards, and if you're not using a cube system, it comes with a big uh, white snap together box with a clear front. So there's that, that option is gonna be available on HSN as well. All of these goodies will be available on our website um, in about 10 days maybe 12 days. They're supposed to arrive here on the 7th. Um, so you can watch for them there. I'm sure we'll be sending out some emails to let you know that they're here. If you have questions or want more information, you can always email us or put up a post on Facebook and we'll get back to you that way as well. So for this week, it's buddy bag week. Everything, all the buddy bags are 20% off and you get double points if you're a total rewards member. If you are not a total rewards member, it's so easy to become one. It doesn't cost anything. Just rather than checking out as a guest, uh, register for an account. And as soon as you register for an account, you start accumulating total rewards. You get rewards on every purchase that you make and you can use them on your very next purchase as well. So you don't wanna miss out on, on, that, on that little bonus. With the, the buddy bag sale this week, you get double points for everything you buy this week that's in that buddy bag, on that buddy bag page or in the buddy bag category. So save some money, ra rack up some points for your next purchase. Maybe you're going to gee, maybe you also sew and you're looking forward to buying the sewing stuff. You can get a few points racked up so you can use those to your purchase of the sewing stuff as well. All right. I haven't heard Karen come upstairs with any questions. Oh, Max has some questions. What have you got, Max? Would you use for embossing powders and stickles? What bag would you use for embossing powders and stickles? The Teresa bag is our little skinny girl here, Teresa, and she will hold 10 of the small Stickles brand um, bottles. So Stickles glitter glue comes in the Stickles brand, which is this size. And then there's a size up from that, uh, that like Michael's and Joanne sell in their own house brand. Those are going to fit better in, um, uh oh, he's calling. It's my son, London. Should I take it? No, he hung up. He always does that to me. He doesn't really want to talk to me. Sorry, I forgot I had my phone in my new slash pocket. You see how easy that was right in my pocket. Uh, I'm going to, well, we'll see if he calls back get him live on air. He just flew in. He's home for four days. It's his birthday tomorrow. So I'm sure he's calling me to say that they are at the airport. I did tell him to text his brother instead of me because I was going to be live, but you know, that's how it is. Okay. So stickles, perfect in here, about 10. He's calling Max right now. Um, but you can put 30 stickles bottles, may, I think maybe even 33 in the Edna bag, or of course in the new Merle bag. So either one, um, Either one of those is going to work depending on how large your collection is. When we talk about embossing powders, those like stickles come in a variety of different um, sizes and shapes. So I put, um, do I have any here? If you have the small embossing powders, these aren't embossing powders, but embossing powders that come in this little jar, this little size of jar right here. Those are going to fit in the Teresa bag, of course. If you're using my favorite brand, the Moxie powders from American Crafts, you can put 14 Moxie powders in an Edna buddy bag. What are you laughing at, Max? <laughs> okay, so... Um, do you think I'm a terrible mom because my son and his girlfriend flew in this morning from Phoenix and I said, um, you know, we have a live going on right at the time that you guys are arriving. Can you just hop on the express bus and we'll pick you up at the Tacoma Dome? So anyway, that was his call saying, hey, I'll be here in 15 minutes. All right. Um, so it depends on the type of embossing powder. Bigger, rounder ones are going to probably fit best in your Edna or now the Merle bag and the small, skinny ones in the Teresa bag. Any other questions, Max? Oh, um, what bag for the large CTMH inks? What bag for the large CTMH inks? Would you like to take a stab at that, Max, what that is? Absolutely. Close to my heart inks. For the large close to my heart inks, those fit, I'm assuming you're talking about the magnetic inks, and the Barbara bag was designed to hold... 10 of the um, 
which is a family of the uh, CTM Age Inc. So Barbara is good if you want to just do 10. And I believe you can get almost 20 in the Leanne bag. Uh, I'll double check that. Um, actually, maybe Karen, if you're uh, listing down there, you could look at the Leanne bag and see. But I think, I believe they also fit in there. I don't have any on this shelf to test in there. So uh, Barbara for 10, Leanne for more than that. I got those new dye and stamp bags and I love them. Where in, when can we buy more magnets and inserts? Oh, okay. Uh, so, this who, does it have a name? Carrie is asking about getting, she says she got the new die and stamp organizer and she loves them and when can she get more? Uh, we will have more magnets. We have the pockets now. We have the boxes now, um, but we don't have the magnets. The magnets will be here again in about 10 days. So if you are interested in the magnets and <laughs> I'm going to be 100% honest with you, those sold much better than we forecasted. And so I knew they were going to sell well. So I started another order with the factory already. So it's, it's, you know, it's coming right behind the first order, but there are only a few thousand of them coming on this order. So please put your name on the wait list. And then as soon as they're back in stock, we won't announce it in general. We'll send an email out to everybody whose name is on the wait list. Um, this happened with the stamp pockets too. If you don't need 20 sets of magnets right away just buy yourself a couple of sets because again this first the second order is going to sell out really fast so get what you need and then just know that in another six weeks we have another order coming in behind that so you will be able to get more of them um, and that way everybody can get a few sets to get started with and then um, and then you can you'll be able to get more as you need them I promise we are going to keep them coming um, for you in big quantities. So, uh, but they work great. If you haven't seen them, they're nice because the magnets are nice because the white side is the magnetic side and it's flexible. So it's easy to pop the magnets off. It's high gloss. So it's easy to slide the magnets around on there, but those will all be back in about 10 days. So put your name on the wait list. And I'm sure Karen, can you put up a link to the magnets? And, um, so if you're, if you're in need of those, you can get on that. Deb asks, do you have a top for the tote that you can carry paper handlers? She's afraid of her paper getting wet when she goes to cross. Deb has asked about a top for the lowest bag. So she, when she goes somewhere with it, um, her paper will not get wet or sustain some sort of other damage. And I do not have a top for it right now. Um, but when I was at the show this weekend in Lancaster, I had several requests for that. So we will probably have a top for the lowest tote before Christmas. It'll be in time to put on your Christmas list also. It is on its way. Beth uh, said, I wish you had mini teensy wrap cards for ribbon. Ah, Beth would like to have mini teensy wrap cards for ribbon. Well, Beth, since um, HSN is really, um, how do I say this in a kind way, encouraging me to release more and more things for the sewing uh, crowd, there's a good chance that I will be doing some mini teensy wrap cards for ribbon. And um, feel free to <laughs> post up anything like that. You know, that we have a group called the Sew Organized Group on Facebook. And I would love your ideas for those of you who sew. As you know, I don't sew. I was raised by a mother who's an amazing seamstress, and she's a crazy quilter. But I did not. Uh, I do not sew. So the more information and the more needs that you have, the better. That would be great. It's Merle. We have to answer. Hello. Hi, Merle. Are you watching the live? Are you on now? Merle's not on the live. Can you believe it, everybody? Did Tisa tell you what's happening on live today? Woo! Anyway, congratulations, Merle, on your buddy bag. It's been a long time coming. And I'm so happy that it's a sewing bag. And we're going to send you some. And your sister knew about this like last week. I was trying to figure out a way to 
get everything all together and have her show up at your house with Merle buddy bags, but I just couldn't get it done. So, so, uh, yeah, so we're still doing the live. So I'll tell everybody that you said hi and we'll send some buddy bags out to you so you can play with them. You're so welcome. Thank you for everything that you've done, not just traveling and doing the shows and all of that stuff, but all of your support and your help and your advice. I just totally appreciate it. And I'm excited to be launching the Merle buddy bag today. So I'll send you something. You can let me know what you think. I love you too. Have a great day. Bye. Merle's not on the live today. She missed her launch. My sister though, reached out to her and said, Merle, why aren't you on the live? What do you got there, Max? Uh, what buddy bag would you use for Anna Griffin inks? Anna Griffin inks are the same size as color box inks. So it just depends how many of them you have. They fit in a plethora of our bags. I think you can get around, <laughs> especially if you're going to mix up, excuse me, color box, Stephanie Bernard, Anna Griffin, they're all about the same size. You can fit, I'm going to say 24 or 30 in this big girl, uh, the big Leanne bag. But if you want to keep it to a smaller number, like 10, uh, ink pads per bag. Look at either the Irene bag or the Monica bag. Both of those are going to work for you. Uh, what bag would you use for CM border punches? CM border punches. Karen, help me out here on this one. We just went through the CM border punch um, buddy bag dilemma. And I, somebody just sent us a picture. It might be Edna. Karen knows this answer because we just, somebody just sent us a picture of it. And um, I think she, I can hear Karen laughing downstairs. She totally knows which bag it is. Someone just sent us a picture of them all lined up. I'm pretty sure it's an Edna bag. Um, what is she saying? Said Edna or Merle. Edna or Merle are going to work for that. Yeah, there we go. Edna or Merle. Also, um, I think that uh, creative memories punches fit really well if you're looking for something that's home based um, in the uh, four level stadium ranger. Next up, Max. Your sister would like to know what you should use for cross stitch thread. My sister would like to know what you should use for cross stitch thread. And if she's talking about embroidery floss, which I believe is the same thing as cross stitch thread, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, because again, I am not part of the uh, needling group and then it would depend it would just depend on whether you have it um, in the skeins that it comes in or you're wrapping it around the cards if you are so if it's in the skeins that it comes in you're just looking for a way to bulk store a bunch of colors then the Edna bag is gonna be or the Merle bag is gonna be perfect for that right but if you've wrapped it around the little cards those little cards fit perfectly in the Shelly bag so if you're looking for something to contain all the colors of a particular project then um, check out the Shelly bag. I think that's going to be a perfect match for you. Uh, Tisa, that's my sister. Hi, Tisa. Stampin' Up Paper Punches. Stampin' Up Paper Punches. You know, I don't believe that I own any Stampin' Up Paper Punches. However, my girl Karen is a Stampin' Up girl. So if she could just tell me... I'm trying to think if we have any Stampin' Up Punches. We have a lot of... We have Martha Stewart and we have Fiskers and we have all kinds of other brands, but I don't think we have any Stampin' Up. So I just would need a little bit more detail on that or a picture and then we could help you with those for sure. Unless they're the long flat ones, like if they're the like the flat kind that lock down, right? Then those fit in the Barbara bag. Those are going to probably fit in Leanne. I do have a couple of those. So if that's what we're talking about, um, I'll do a little bit of research and find out what those are, and then I will get to that. Karen says you have some. Karen says I have some. They fit in the Barbara. They're locking Oh, yeah. That's what I just said. Yeah. that's yeah. They fit in the Barbara bag. Those also stand up really nicely in the six-level stadium arranger if you're looking for home use. And I haven't, in the Leanne, we figured we could get I haven't tried them in the Leanne, but Karen is saying the Leanne bag is going to be a good uh, match for those as well. Would the 
dye, stamp, and supply organizer be good for quilting supplies? Would the dye, stamp, and supply organizer be good for quilting supplies? I think it'd be great for quilting supplies, especially quilting rulers. So if you're looking for a way to organize all those rulers and all those different sizes and shapes, the dye, stamp, and supply organizer, which I don't have one here, has three levels. So you could put your small rulers in the front, medium, and then tall in the back, and then kind of file through them. So if it's rulers that you're looking for, it's perfect. And then you could also divide off a few of the sections so that you could actually store other things like scissors and rotary cutters and that type of thing in one part of that as well. So the dice salmon supply organizer is awesome for all kinds of things like that. And Eric, Tim, and Ashley are watching. That is all I have. <laughs> okay, so I think that's the end of the questions. Wait, Max has another question. Is there anything that will store large creative memory punches? Is there anything that will store large creative memory punches? I'm gonna say yes, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know which ones they are. I've only, the only creative memories punch that I have are the small creative memories border punches. So if Terry Wiegand, when you tune in to watch this, or if we have another creative memories gal on board who could give us some sizes and dimensions for those, and then Karen might have another, she might have some or know about them. Um, we can definitely follow up on that and get some posts up on Facebook and with whichever bag is appropriate for that and let you know. But please, whoever asked that question, if you can also email at customer service at totally-tiffany.com. Karen says Leanne. Karen says Leanne. Leanne is just everywhere for everything, right? She's a little bit, she's big and she's beefy and she doesn't have a clear box on the inside. So the rest of these bags, you can see through the side, they're all clear. Leanne has a, what, a heavier duty white plastic box on the inside. So she's more durable for heavy things. One thing I do want to bring to your attention though, is that all these bags are vinyl, which means if you put something sharp in them, it is probably going to cut through the bag. I'm not saying like scissors, like obviously this has scissors in it, right? So it's, it's in the box there, but I tried putting my small like um, triangle quilting rulers and stuff in there. And then, um, that wasn't a good idea. Those really sharp corners, uh, it didn't travel that well. So uh, sharp things like quilting rulers are not a good match for buddy bags in general. So keep that in mind. So who, what did you say, Max? Tim? Eric and, Ashley. Eric and Ashley. Tim, Eric and Ashley are on the line today watching. So hi, Tim, Eric and Ashley. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Uh, Tim, Eric and Ashley are part of our local following here in Tacoma. So it's good to have you guys online, even though you can come and see us anytime you want locally. So I do want to do one little, one last announcement. Um, well, I guess I should remind you one last time, it's Buddy Bag Week. So all the Buddy Bags are 20% off this week and double points. So get your points by not checking out as a guest, by um, creating an account. That'll be great. And then Hobby Lobby is bringing in a bunch of our products and they will all be um, like they're bringing in some of the desk made and the Irene buddy bag and a couple of other things. And those will launch at Hobby Lobby in early September. So if you love to shop at Hobby Lobby and who doesn't, um, we'll keep you posted on when a few more of our products, they already have a few of our things there. They have the paper storage boxes and the paper storage box dividers, which are super popular. One of the beautiful things about Hobby Lobby though, is you can use your 40 off coupon on those types of goodies there. So, uh, we love Hobby Lobby. We're excited that they're bringing in a few more things. Watch for some announcements. We'll let you know as soon as there are more Hobby Lobby products in a store near you. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm, it's great to have you. Uh, for Tuesday Live. I look forward to talking to you all next tu next Tuesday. Yeah, I'll still be here next Tuesday. Tuesday after I'll be at HSN though. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day.